Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Quadrant Commander game. Uh, this is the first game in our series, and it covers the uh, coordinate grid. We also have a division version and a rounding version on the way. It's also available to play on your Android tablet or phone, and you can get it from the Google Play Store. Search either find it by either searching for MathNook or Quadrant Commander, and it should show up. Otherwise, if you can't find it, you can always go to the game page and click on the Get It on Google Play button at the bottom of the screen, and it will take you to our store. Uh, it is free to play, and uh, it'll play on play well on your uh, on tablets and phones. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see, and uh, this will show you the high scores. And you can choose to see uh, which of high score tables you're looking at, and there's uh, different versions. You have here the two different. Um, well, I should say modes. There's two different modes. Uh, the regular untimed mode is shown is indicated by these little arrows here and then you can see that uh, you can play the regular untimed mode in quadrant one which is indicated by this figure here or all four quadrants shown here the uh, these two buttons here you can look at the uh, high scores uh, for the uh, time version and it's shown by it indicated by the little clock here and then the uh, quadrant run are all four quadrants and let's go ahead and look at the high scores for the time version in quadrant one and you'll see that the high scores right there let's go ahead and close that out and where you can return to the main menu this toggles the uh, sound on and off this question will give you the written instructions if you'd like to go over those uh, later on you can do that but uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip it since I'm going to go show you how to play Let's go ahead and click the play button, and here's the four mode. Here's the uh, four modes I was talking about. The uh, you can tell which one is active by uh, these buttons here, the ones that are highlighted in green. So right now, if I click this to, uh, to, to play by clicking this button here, I would play the regular mode on all four quadrants. And uh, let's go ahead and play the. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and click the button to start the game. If I click this one, it'll take me back to the main menu. But let's go ahead and do that. And here's the first quadrant you need to clear. And the grid's small, and if you play, if you keep playing, it'll get a little bit larger and a little bit more difficult. So this tells you the, your ship's hull integrity. And right now it's at 100%. As you get hit by missiles, uh, your hull integrity will go down. A bit, some and it, when it reaches zero, the game's over. You click this button; it'll take you the back to the menu. Um, this will toggle the sound on and off. And here's your little keypad. You can either enter coordinates uh, ordered pair you want to uh, by using the keypad or the keyboard. And I'm going to show you how to do both. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It's indicating that I should do this one first. Now it really doesn't make any difference the first time uh, when you plan on on a uh, quadrant with just mine because they can't fire at you so you can uh, take out any uh, take them out in any order you like however uh, when you have enemies that fire on you you will need to uh, actually fire on, fire on get, get them in order otherwise if you fire another one uh, at a different uh, location one that's not highlighted by the red arrows then it'll fire on you and I'll show you that in a second too so let's go ahead and, and take out this guy He's located at 2, 2, 2 across and 2 up. And I'll plug in, I'm just going to click 2, 2. If I'm not happy with that, I can just go ahead and click that back. And I can also use a keyboard to 2 and hit enter, and it'll fire the missile, and you got him. This one's at 0 across, 1 up. And uh, I can also do the keyboard. And this time, I'm going to hit the enter key, and it'll fire. So you can use a keyboard or this little keypad here, wh whichever you prefer. Now the Android version will actually have uh, an ordered, four ordered pairs across here. It won't have a uh, keypad for you to enter as, as, it's, as, as it plays by you tapping the screen only. So you'll have four option, uh, four ordered pairs to choose from. You'll have to choose the uh, correct, tap on the correct one that corresponds to the enemy on the screen. Okay, this guy's located at negative two, negative one. So let's go. Ahead Click this, get the negative in there. Negative two across, negative one, fire. And uh, 
This next level should be a little bit larger, I believe. Let me go look at that. Not yet. It'll be in a, in a minute, and then not only will it get larger, but you'll actually have some enemies that fire on you. So this one's at negative two zero. Fire at that guy. Negative two two is this one. Let's go ahead and get this one. Negative two. Negative two. Negative two. Fire. Negative two two. One and then one, and now we should get a bigger grid, and you'll see uh, some mine, but eventually a, a enemy that, that can fire on you. Well, it's the same size grid, but there's an enemy that can fire on you, and let's just go ahead and get him. Now, at this point, I need to fire on this one. If I fire anywhere else, this guy will fire on me and take down my whole integrity. So let me go ahead and, and take him out, and I'll show you what that looks like. Two across, one up. And I got him. And now I need to get this one. But let's go ahead and get this one. I'll show you what happens. And if you watch, he'll fire on you and my whole integrity will go down. And he takes off. So I can get hit like that nine more times and then the game will be over. Get one, two up. Now in a time mode, and you'll see that in a minute, um, I'll show you how that plays. The mines can't fire on you so there's no time limit on those uh, but when a spaceship shows up it'll have a ring around it and it'll start out green it'll slowly move around it turn yellow turn red when you get have li uh, very little time left and then when it completes a circle he'll fire uh, on you so you have to uh, fire a missile and hit hit that spacecraft before the uh, timer gets all the way down to zero and I'll show you what that looks like so two and one uh, Zero cross negative one, and hopefully the grid gets larger. I forgot uh, what particular level it gets large on. Yeah, and see, you see the grid got bigger, and as you progress, it'll get uh, bigger, and there'll be more enemies. Okay, well that's how you play the uh, regular mode on all four quadrants. And let's go ahead and go back to the main menu, and click play. And now I'm going to choose times, and let's go to the uh, Play in just the first quadrant, quadrant one, which is all positive values. And I have to play a little bit so you can see uh, enemies that can actually fire on me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one four, cross and one. And go ahead and three, zero. Go ahead and take these guys out. Four, four. And to, so that you can see actually what the uh, timed enemy looks like. and get those guys out this is definitely a uh, more challenging version of play you'll see in a minute okay so there's the time three cross one let me go ahead and fire on them let me go ahead and fire wrong place and that's okay but if I don't get them which I'm fixing to. There you go. See, he fired on me, took down my uh, whole integrity down 90 to 90 percent, and took off. Let me go ahead and get these, and you'll see that the, the next level should be a little bit more challenging because I believe that more of them show up. And the grid got bigger. Uh, let's go ahead and get six there. And so far, no spaceships there, and there comes one now. And I'll go ahead and. Oop, I got that one wrong. Oh, he fired on me and took off. So that's how you play the time level. It is a little bit more challenging than the uh, regular mode. It's a lot of fun, though. So I hope you uh, hope this video has helped some. I hope you uh, enjoy playing the game. And thanks for watching.